demonstrate an app. It's a silly animal game. And, but it's going to demonstrate how to use conditionals and randomness. So conditional blocks mean you know, when your app makes a decision, you also called if blocks. And, and then also randomness. How do you add randomness like in a, in a game? So I added a button here. And I'm going to call that um, my animal button. So I'm going to rename it and call it animal button. And what I'm going to do is, my goal is when I click on the button for a different image to show up each time. So I'm going to bring in a couple images that I've grabbed. I have a beautiful picture of a cow that I'm going to bring in. And that's going to be added to my system. And then I'm also going to add in a beautiful picture of a pig. Okay. And so that those two guys are, are now in my media box. But notice my UI hasn't changed. So I'm going to actually make the button start with one of them. And so I go over to the image for this button. And I'm going to change it. And let's just start with the cow. And now that button is going to show a cow. And it's it's... There he is. He's pretty pretty big, but that's fine. I'll just I'll just leave it that way for now. And I'm going to get rid of the text that shows up. Okay. So so far I'm I'm doing okay. I've set up my interface with a big button with a cow picture. And what I'm going to do now is go to the blocks editor. And what I want to do is is first I'll show you how to switch the picture on a click. So I'm going to go to my blocks and we'll see our animal button here. And when the button gets clicked, what I want to happen is for that cow to turn into a pig picture. So I'm going to start an emulator so we'll be able to run this thing and try it. But when I click, what I'm going to do in my app is have the button's image change. So the button has a property called image and I want to change that image. And the way you change the image property is you actually have to use the file name. So in this case it's happy-cow.jpg or pig.jpg. Okay. So over here I'm going to on the button click change this to pig.jpg. There it is. Okay. So now you know my app's not great but it should come up with the cow appearing and then when I click it should change to the pig. And let's see how we're doing here. So I'm going to unlock my emulator. I have to connect to device. and I'll choose the emulator. And it should come up with my cow appearing. And then as soon as I click on it, it should change the button's image property to pig.jpg and, and show the pig. After we get done with this, I'm going to show you how to kind of make it randomly switch each time the person clicks it. Okay, so my app just came up and there's the beautiful cow. Okay, not a great app, but let's see if I have some behavior. I'm going to click on the button and indeed it changes to my pig picture. Notice if I click again, it stays with the pig. Okay, so I'm going to change this thing and I'm going to make it so it's randomly. So every time I click, either pig or cow will come up. And you have to go to the math block and there's this thing called random integer block. And you can give it any numbers. Okay, so I'm going to go to math and create a couple numbers. Notice you can also just type numbers in too. But what I'm going to want is a random number between 1 and 2. Okay, what am I going to do with that? Well, depending on what the random number is, I'm going to want to put a different image up. Okay, and the way you kind of make decisions or let your app make decisions is use a control block, and in this case, it's going to be an if else. Okay, and what I'm going to want to say is if this random thing I get, if it's one, do something, if it's not one, do something else. So I'm going to grab an equals block and what I'm going to ask is is this random thing I grabbed 
is it equal to 1? Okay. So my question is, is a random number between 1 and 2, and each time I do this, it's going to be a different one, is it equal to 1? If it is, I'm going to set the animal button image to pig. If it's not, I'm going to do the opposite. So else means if this is false, this whole big thing, if it comes out false, in that case, I'm going to change to my cow picture. And my cow picture is called happycow.jpg with a dash in between. All right, so now I've got my blocks editor set up. When the button gets clicked, make a decision. And the decision is grab a random number and see if it's one. If it is, do the pig. Otherwise, draw the cow. Let's see if our app is going to work. So I'm going to bring up the emulator. Each time I click, it should bring up a different picture. The first time I click, it might even bring the pig back up. Let's see. No, I brought the cow. Pig. Cow, pig, 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 or cow. Okay, so as you can see, it, it's random. Every time I click, it's randomly choosing which picture to show up. You know, other things you could do are, you know, kind of make it a game, right? So you could make sounds play when, when they're clicked. And you could have the user choose a button to say, oh, it's a cow or it's a pig. You know, if it's a game for a kid, something like that. But all of it's done with kind of randomness and these decision statements, these if blocks.